Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Otto. Um, today I'm going to be making a video showing y'all how to cut your own hair. You know, you can save a lot of money doing this and you don't have to worry about someone else, maybe at Great Clips or wherever you go, screwing up your hair. If you're doing it yourself, then you have complete control over how your hair gets done. So a lot of people are reluctant to try it because they're scared that they're going to mess it up or they're going to look like a fool for the first few weeks after they mess it up. But you know, once you get the hang of it, you um, can really save some money and you don't have to worry about making that trip down to the, to the barber shop anymore. So um, I think it's something really beneficial to learn how to do. And that's what I'm gonna try and show you all today is how to do it yourself. It's really not that hard. You just gotta invest 15, $20 in some clippers at Walmart. And once you do that, I mean, it's all downhill from there. So hope you all enjoy the video. Keep in mind, this is the first video I've ever done. So. Uh, leave some constructive criticism for me if you would and um, hopefully it helps so without further ado here it is one more thing I forgot to add before we start uh, this is a basic haircut it doesn't include every single style obviously I can't show that it's uh, just something to help you get started if you want to learn how to do it real quick I'll show you how I do my hair as you can see what it looks like right now so um, it may or may not be for you, but it might be a starting point at least. If you want to try and venture out and do something different, you can use some of the tips I show you in this video. You know, at least get something from them. Uh, as far as you know, long hair or women's hair, uh, I've never tried any of that before, so um, this isn't the video for that. So if that's what you're looking for, then it might not be worth watching this. So I just wanted to give that little disclaimer before we get started, so I don't waste y'all's time if that's what what you're looking for. So. All right, so starting off, I just go ahead and put um, some paper towel down in the sink, catch some as much hair as possible. And that wall, that's the brand that I'm using. You can get it from Walmart for pretty cheap. It's like 15, 20 bucks, maybe less than that. Can't remember. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil on the clippers. It ensures a long life lifetime for them. Make sure they run well for a while. You can see I'm using the four attachment here. So it's a half inch, about like that. Um, I always say that, especially if it's the first time you're doing this, you're gonna to wanna to use a larger attachment first, you know, kind of work your way down. That way you can kind of find that sweet spot, find what length hair looks best for you and what you like the most. You can always cut more off, but you can't go the other way that fast. So, like I said, start out bigger than small, then go smaller. Um, I'm just doing the sides and back here with this four attachment. You can see I have my hair on the top combed over, so I kind of make that part where I naturally put my hair to the side and I'm going up to that part and I'm kind of flicking at the top. You know, I just wanna to, want to get that as good as possible all the way up. So I'm doing that on the sides. Try and get, as, try and get every part of your head. It's easy to miss parts. And um, I recommend when you're done with everything to you know, look real closely at your sides and back and make sure all the hair is real even. So as you can see here, I'm going to the back. I'm doing the same thing. Um, I get a little handheld mirror and you can't see it in the background but there's my big bathroom mirror behind me so I'm able to see the back of my head and it's a little awkward at first when you're first starting out because everything in the mirror is backwards so you have to get used to that movement with your hand but once you figure it out it's real easy and once you cut your hair many times you can do it almost in your sleep so I can now even cut the back of my head completely almost without even using a mirror because you just get used to where you need to stop and whatnot. So I'm doing the same thing here. I'm just making sure I'm getting every spot. Everything's nice and even. And um, then you just go to the other side. So you can see how my hair naturally parts. But for this, I'm going to push it to the middle and do this side the same way as I did this other side in the back of my head. Just going up to where it ends at the part at the top. You can see me flicking at the top, just trying to get up as high as possible without hitting the hair on the top of my head. So I'm going to do this for the sides and back. Make sure everything's the same length all the way around. So and once you get better at this, you can move a lot faster. Uh, I jump straight to what size I wanna use now. This is an old video, so I've done it many more times since this. And um, you kinda get used to what you like and what you wanna do, and you can just jump straight to a smaller size like I'll jump straight to a two now and then I'll fade from a one up so here's a three working my way down for the purpose of this video I wanted to show how you can start bigger and then go smaller and I'm basically doing the same thing with this three here 
you know, cutting the sides and back again, and getting through all that, making sure it's all the same length, working my way up. See me parting my hair some, so I'm not getting the hair on the top of my head. That's important, you don't want to slip up and accidentally run it on the top of your head, then you gotta shave your head, so that's a big mess up, so. I can go ahead and say that if you take it slow and you start from bigger and go down smaller, it's really, and if you are focused and you take your time, it's really hard to screw up majorly. So I've done this probably 40, 50 times now over the course of the last couple of years, maybe a little bit more. And out of all those times, I've only messed up one time. I'm kidding, kid you not, I've messed up one time and it wasn't even the first 10 times I did it. So well, the first time I ever cut my hair, I actually took most, I took my, most of my time to do it. And I actually, that was one of the best haircuts I've done myself to date. So it's just really something that you get used to. And once you get it, once you do it once or twice, you can kind of understand, you kind of start to understand why it shouldn't be something you should be scared, scared of trying. And even more so it's, it's worth it because you save the money. Yeah, it's outrageous how much they charge, especially if you have short hair and cut it once every two weeks or so. But So here I have the two. And I, right now I'm just doing my sideburns and the lower part of the back of my head. So you can see it's kind of like a fade. I'm really flicking hard now on this to try and fade it up from a two to a three. You see how I flick on the sides too? So this will give you that kind of faded look where it goes from a two to a three on the sides and back. And this will look really good once you finish it. So it's actually really not that hard to do a fade. A lot of people are worried about that, trying to do that also, and it's, it's really not that big of a deal. So now I've done a two to a three, and you can see here I move the clippers up. So you wanna start with them expanded first. That way it doesn't cut as close. And then when you go to do this detailing here, you want to, you know, put them back together. So here I'm just using the corner of the clippers real carefully to kind of cut around my ear, make sure that it forms around my ear the way I want it. It's up to you how high you want to do it and the styling and whatnot. It's pretty easy. Just be careful and take it slow. So I, I go ahead and do that. I'm just, I, I saw a spot here that I messed up on, so or I not messed up, just didn't didn't get it with the clippers. So I wanted to get that real quick. And in the mirror, it's really easy to see these imperfections. So I go back up with the four. I, I wanted to move the four up a little bit higher. See, I can, I'm getting up a little bit higher on the top of my head, but the key here is that I'm moving with my hair. I'm not going against it. If I was to go against it, I'd cut a lot more off. So I'm moving with my hair here trying to clean it up a little bit. So it's really going two, three, then four, all the way up. So I, I finished with the sides and back for the most part. And now what I'm doing is I'm, you know, brushing my hair down. This way I can kind of cut my bangs. Here it's actually, it's really simple. It's not super complicated. You just cut, cut them to the length you want them. And that's what I'm doing here. You can see I'm kind of trying to make it a little jagged. I don't want to cut it straight across and look like Mo from the Three Stooges. But either way, I'm gonna style it. So as you can see, you can't even really tell, especially when I put gel in it and whatnot. So I usually, you can cut it to however uh, long you want it. So you can see as this style that I'm doing, it's, it's cutting the sides and back pretty short, leaving some long on top. That way you can do some stuff with it put gel in it and whatnot so and it's up to you you can cut it as short as you want so this hairstyle works for for shorter hair on top also so if you wanted to start out you know with doing maybe the sides and back and then cutting the top even shorter maybe going over it with an eight or something and you could do that it would still look nice so as you can see here I'm basically literally just taking the hair on the top of my head and putting it between my fingers and using the scissors to cut it where I see longer parts or parts that I want to, you know, push down some. So I'll, the same concept goes here. Always cut less first. 
So don't cut a ton off with the scissors. Start out small and then work your way to a shorter hairstyle. That's always the best way to do it, I promise. So here I'm using the, the mirror again to clean up my, the back, detail the back some. It's the same way I did around my ears. It's hard to see because it's hard to show it with the camera, but same way I did it around my ears, I'm just using the, the clippers are pushed together all the way. You can see the lever on the side there. It's got them all the way up. Just really getting my hairline there, making sure I don't have any renegade hairs or anything. Now the back is done being detailed. So, so now I've finished my haircut. I've taken a shower, I wiped everything off. Now I'm gonna show you how I style it. This is uh, the hair gel that I use. Um, I recommend it if you don't have one already. It's real strong. I have super thick hair, so it's hard to, for normal, gel, normal hair gel to, to work with mine. So this stuff's pretty strong, gets the job done. So as you can see, I just go with my hair the way it naturally goes. And I literally just take the hair gel and whip it to the side. and It's pretty easy to see from there. In this video, I left the hair on top a little bit longer than what I normally do. So, like I said, it looks good. I've done it way shorter than this before. And the same concept works. Just making sure that everything on top of my head is fairly flat. Everything's uniform. And there it is. So you can see from the side, that side, the top of my hair. Like I said, it's pretty long on top. But here's like a full version of it. You can go shorter, longer. It's really up to you. And it's really not that hard. Once you, you do it enough, you can cut up higher on the back. That's what I do now. So as you all can see, there's really not much to cut in your own hair. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. You'll be fine if you just take your time and you start with a larger attachment and cut less hair off in the beginning. And like I said, it's really not that hard and you'll save a ton of money, you'll save time driving to the barber shop, and you'll have more control over what your hair looks like. Especially after you do it a few times, you start to venture into more things and it's real easy, but you'll never figure it out unless you try it. So give it a go. Don't live life scared, and you never know. You may find out that you've been doing it wrong the whole time. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hopefully I can answer it, and hope you gain something from it. As always, thank you, and hope you all have a good day.